Morning, everybody. Fox News Alert now. We've got the first cost estimates on the Democrats' massive health care reform plan, and the numbers are huge. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, known as the CBO, releasing preliminary cost estimates of the legislation written by the Senator Ted Kennedy. It says the plan will cost a trillion dollars over the next 10 years. But there is a catch. There is a big catch. Good morning, everybody. I'm Bill Hemmer. That's where we start today here in America's Newsroom. Hi, doing? everybody. Hi, Bill. I'm Megan Kelly. And the big catch is this. The congressional number crunchers say that trillion dollars would only pay to cover one-third of the nation's 50 million uninsured. Only one-third. So what about the other two-thirds? Is coverage for them coming, too? And at what cost? Well, we did the math. The plan costs about $62,000 per patient. So using that formula, it would cost us close to $3 trillion to provide health care to everyone. Did you say three? Three trillion. That's the T, right? T, uh -huh. as in too much? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Stu Varney, Fox Business Network, leads our coverage this morning. Stu, good morning to you. Uh, where do we find tr uh, three trillion dollars? Well, you're supposed to come up with it through savings in the distant future and presumably a lot of new taxes. You know, Bill, this, this is the report, and this is essentially a nuclear bomb chucked into the middle of the health care reform debate because cost, price tag, is everything here. Let me summarize this report. It's from the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, which is nonpartisan Kennedy plan, and it says you will reduce the number of uninsured people by 16 million in 10 years at a cost of $1 trillion, okay? Now, that's a, a gigantic price tag. And if you extrapolate out, that only covers one-third of the currently uninsured. Extrapolate out, and you've got, as you say, the $3 trillion price tag. Will Congress go along with a price tag like that? Will the voters go along with it? I mean, I don't think so, quite frankly, Bill. Well, you have to wonder about these modern Democrats going back home on the weekends yeah. and getting an earful from the constituents. You might be right about that. You said something in your first answer. Yeah. You said savings. Where does the savings come from? Okay, Steve? the savings are going to come down the the road years in the future by cramming down on hospitals, paying them less, cramming down on doctors, paying them less, figuring out, according to government bureaucrats, what is the correct form of treatment for a given kind of, uh, of, of a situation. That's what they're trying to do. These are, these are savings which will come way in the distant future. And who knows whether they'll actually materialize. The other side of the coin is you've got to have new taxes because you've got to pay for this thing. Right now, a House committee is considering what's called a value-added tax. That's like a national sales tax. It is a consumption tax. What happens when the voters get wind of that? E to pay for a $3 trillion total universal coverage, $3 trillion means enormous savings, cram-downs in the future, and massive tax increases now, right now. I don't think that's a possibility, quite frankly. This is a nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb. Yes, it is. Wow. It's, it's, it's just been chucked into the middle of the health care debate because at issue is the price tag. Yeah. Granted, it's a, it's a valid political goal to cover everybody, but what's the price tag? If it's $3 trillion, that's a nuclear bomb. It's a non-starter. Stu Varney, thank you for that analysis, okay? Save